Hey guys, it's MVA, and today I'm back to show you how to use Velocity in Sunny Vegas. And uh, that's it, because um, a lot of people asked me about this a long time ago, and finally it is time to show you it. Show you the basics and uh, everything about Velocity. So let's start by right clicking uh, this footage, choose Insert, Remove, Envelop, and choose Velocity from this window. And uh, this green line appears, which is uh, velocity itself. Uh, if you double click on this, a keyframe appears. Uh, you can move this keyframe in every direction you want. So that's it. Double clicking on it will restore it to 100%. Or you can just type set to 10%, for example, in it. Will be at 10%. So if you need some exact point, some exact percentage, um, uh, you will uh, you can type it right there. So, uh, that's it. If you hold down Alt, you can move uh, this keyframe in a horizontal direction. It won't move up, upwards or downwards. Uh, but if you hold down Alt, uh, sorry, Control, you can move with upwards or backwards without moving it uh, from left to right so it will move very 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 slowly so you can just choose the right percentage yourself double click in it again restores it to 100% so that's it if you create another keyframe and uh, for example turn it down to 3% for example um, uh, you may see this smooth line connecting these two points and uh, right clicking on this line gives you some options which is linear fade so it will move constantly from the left to right um, and uh, fast fade uh, it will fastly slow down slow fade it will uh, keep some speed at the beginning but then will fastly slow down um, smooth fade give you smooth effect sharp fade is the same as the smooth uh, it's smooth or to just it um, I don't know it gives you some middle speed most of the time you will see the middle speed um, okay and hold will do this sheet I don't think it will be necessary I don't use it haven't even ever use it so that's it reset all uh, so now let's start our velocity tutorial Let's start making some cool things from this footage, from this audio, and I have some scope shot right there. So first thing I always do while thinking scope shots is um, I just put scope shots in the places I want them to be. So, for example, I need to, uh, firstly I listen to the song. Okay, I listen to them, uh, the songs several times, just to uh, just to know where I want uh, these shots to be, and then just adjusting them to, to the, these places, something like that. So hold down Control and uh, move this shot to make a copy of it and I need uh, another shot to be right there uh, hit con down uh, control again and uh, set your shot to another moment you need it to be so let's hit, let's listen to it Jump it up on the 
Okay. Uh, to be honest, the shots are too. I don't know. They don't feed the music at all. I will add some express effects on that. Uh, I will use express fix equalization and will turn down the bass a bit. Uh, and uh, will increase mids and highs so it will suit this track this soundtrack I like the sound but I think it needs to be uh, the sound needs to be lower a bit okay that's pretty fine and um, let's see what we can hear here. So I don't need this long, long uh, thing before the shots. I think we could start somewhere there and start creating our shit. So um, I can see there there's some bass or some uh, powerful moment. So I need to increase uh, velocity right there, make a keyframe, and maybe somewhere there I need it to be at 10% because this is uh, the slower, slowest um, percentage I can have at 300 frames per second. And um, let's just choose slow fade to make it a bit more powerful I don't know, let's see I don't think it's quite good enough I think we should go somewhere there no 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 okay so uh, where our shot is, I make a keyframe, make it 100%. Always uh, choose, cut it, cut the footage, clicking S. Okay, what the fuck is that? Clicking S on this. What the fuck? Okay, it's fine. And uh, just looking for the moment. His shots connecting it and uh, put down velocity after shot a bit. So, and um, because song is very powerful, I should slow fade so it will uh, uh, keep the high speed most, most of the time. Okay, we need. Okay, I just uh, turn it up, turn it up to 100 percent there, but I have quite nice um, transition. So what we need is to is uh, this last frame to be something like this, so it uh, starts to scope in. And there it starts to scope out, and uh, you'll have this quite this very nice uh, shot. It's most usable usable for clips, or something like that. In Fragmus, I think uh, you should um, uh, show your show frags and. Everything like that, so well, let's continue. Uh, let's listen to it again. I can hear there some quite nice thing. We can do something like this. Oh, yeah, I think it's too fast. Let's turn it down a bit. So, and uh, create a keyframe right there and split our 
off with this again. And start the search to the moment where he shoots. Okay, it's something over right there. Okay, that's it. Uh, okay, let's uh, turn out turn up this uh, keyframe again and uh, slow it down a bit. Not a bit, very much. Ten percent is very much slow. So. No, it's too much. This two. Maybe. Okay, that's fine. So you will need uh, this frame to be a zooming in moment. So let's see what we can have there. Maybe you can turn up this section a bit. I'll make something like this. Like this. Oh, okay, something like that. It's pretty fine. Let's watch the whole thing again. As you can see, it's very powerful. Uh, let's continue with our third shot. Um, as you can hear, there is a check, so it's very, it's a very powerful thing, and you should uh, create the fast movement of the video. So you just create three keyframes and move middle to the. Yeah, and uh, you can see very nice effect. Very nice, very nice moment. Sometimes you should uh, move these frames to make it bad, to make it very nice. But for now, it looks very nice. Okay, let's go to our first search shot. Uh, let's turn turn it up to one hundred percent again. And create this another keyframe. Okay, we don't need it. <laughs> um, let's see where he shots. And uh, somewhere there. So you turn it up right there, and maybe. Turn it up again. Um, let's turn. Let's create a keyframe there. Move it to ten percent. And uh, delete this. Make it slow. Slow fade. And um, when scope is like this, I don't know. It doesn't look very cool. But let's see. I don't know, I think it's quite nice. So, but this looks nice too. I know you should uh, just hold out and experiment with this. Uh, so, that's it. Um, we have our three scope shots. Um, edited. This is very basic, very fast uh, editing, and uh, as you can see, to give some quite nice results, we can. Okay, no, no. <laughs> I won't do it. Uh, so let's pre-render it and watch. I always uh, uh, watch it many times because uh, I want to see every detail. I don't want it to be bad in some way. 
and uh, that's it. So after this last shot, I don't do anything because I think uh, it will be cool to add a camera right there, something like a dead man or man being killed. Uh, I hope you understand something from this tutorial. I don't know because I talked very, uh, very bad, I think. But yeah, that's it. That's a quick tutorial on how to use velocity, how I use velocity. Maybe you will learn about it. I will create some tutorial on how to uh, edit uh, non-scope clips and footages uh, later because it takes time to adjust everything. And see you guys.